Hello guys and welcome to the channel. This video is about Ford PTU, a power transfer unit. If you watch my previous videos about my Ford um, Taurus SHO, I explained that a little bit how to change the fluid in it and all of that stuff and I've been getting a lot of comments in this um, in that video and a lot of people asking me a lot of questions so I decided to make this video to answer all the questions and also I figured out I think I figured out the best way to change the fluid in it without going in too much trouble um, I you guys been asking me how to do it if there is a way to do it through the axle and all of that stuff so I think I figured out and I'm gonna explain it in this video um, how to change the fluid easiest way I think I've ever seen or done so this PTU from my Ford Taurus SHO it failed at 26,000 miles you can watch video in my playlist um, this guy does not have a drain plug right here so uh, changing the fluid um, makes it hard especially if you have a PPE uh, downpipes, aftermarket downpipes, they, they're a lot bigger and they come right next to this uh, fill plug. So um, changing oil, undoing the fill plug, uh, putting a tube in there, sucking oil out, and then filling it back up impossible without taking the downpipe off, off the car. Um, the, the another, so this, the, the, this is the first way to change the oil, uh, easy. And you, a lot of you guys asking me how much it would be if you take it to the dealer and have dealer um, take care of it for you. Dealer will not touch the oil uh, in here. They they consider this as a lifetime oil. They're saying if it fails, bring it to them and they'll fix it for you. Repair for me was 1800 some dollars. Uh, I've seen guys paying as much as $2,200 for complete job done, everything, parts and labor. So, a couple ways of doing it. So, first way, correct way is to take this uh, fill plug out, sticking a tube in there all the way down, and I'm gonna show you where it, it goes. Um, so the hole is right here, you're sticking a tube down and it needs to go all the way here. Okay, once it gets here, you have to suck all the fluid out. This, just, uh, this PTU should hold about 18 ounces, so if you get at least 16, meaning that, okay, you're in a good shape because there's some of it will sit in the low cavity right here. Um, so that, that's gonna be it. Um, and once you're done, then you fill it with a new uh, transmit uh, the fluid, uh, whatever the gear oil you're gonna use, and that's gonna take care of it. I recommend doing it every 25,000 miles. The second part is drilling drain hole on the bottom of it and uh, draining it from the drain hole and filling it through here, or filling it through the um, through the hold on, vent. Uh, thing uh, there's a vent hole that's coming out to the top of your engine you can fill it through here you can put exactly 18 ounces um, once you drain the oil through the the plug and fill it through here and you don't have to deal with this plug right here now let's put that back together so somewhere there so now um, if you want to drill the hole the best way to do it is right between this gear see this spot right here um, I would do it right where that um, where that mounting bolt is, about an inch away from the slip, right there. I would just do it right here, and then uh, the the drain hole comes up right here, and it's not going to be in the way because if you drill it right there, the gear is so close that or here that your bolt may be touching the gears. Um, so this is the spot right here. Um, right along the way in this pad about an inch from the from the connection from the cover all right so that's covered now one of my subscribers he told me well a couple of guys asked me if you can take the axle out can you drain it through here no you can't it's sealed hole in there you take the axle out it doesn't nothing comes out of it you know so there's no way to do it through here there's no way to do it through the uh, vent hole because the vent hole comes right there and there's a gear right in front of it this gear right there so there's no way to get down there well through the vent hole so absolutely impossible so this is what it looks like inside one of my subscribers told me this and I was like wow how come I didn't um, come up with this before and I think this is the answer to um, a lot of the <clears throat> oil change when you can get um, 
if you don't want to drain the hole and you can't get the suction thing out of it through the fill plug this is the answer so what he told me is this why can't we just be friends no I'm just kidding uh, let me put this in so it makes sense to you guys okay so he says why can't you just take the the drain plug out put the tube in there and let's say this this holds 18 ounces which is uh, less than a quart he says why don't you just go get two or three quarts of oil pull the plug out stick the tube a um, little low in there and start start pumping a uh, fresh oil into it and that will di displace the the old oil and o the oil starts mixing and coming out uh, he says after about two quarts it kind of refreshes oil yeah there's some little bit of old stuff in there but mostly um, it replaces itself um, so I was like wow that's a crazy idea I should have I should have done that because I'm telling you guys if you put the tube in and try sucking uh, by taking a tube in it's just does not want to go here and then it has to bend right away and then it has to follow this and you don't really know where it goes because a lot of times it just wants to go right there between the gears and it kind of it goes it goes right there and it gets stuck and you don't know if it's going out there or it's going down you just you just don't know so um, if you did the suction way I mean it's, it's just not an easy task so so I think he was uh, he was he got somewhere that putting a tube in and start filling to get old oil out and it's draining out of the plug and you keep filling it keep filling it till you see that nice and clean oils coming out and then you can just stop so there you go that's what I have to say um, if you guys do have any more questions about this PTU things I'll be happy to help and answer all your questions um, just for the reference this is pretty much this is the orientation of the PTU in the car and this is how much fluid you have in it up to this hole so you're filling it right up to here one more time you're filling it about here this 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 high this is how much oil is just in it minus all the gears in there it's just not not much at all that's it if you like this video please like share and subscribe um, share this video with your friends uh, there's only two kinds of PTUs out there the one that already failed and the one that's about to fail so um, help friends um, not to fail in this thing um, like the channel subscribe help me out with uh, with this channel supporting it and all the stuff a lot of uh, car videos in here check out my SHO playlist um, Subaru playlist and all of the other stuff and um, thank you for watching